hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing well so in this video i am going to show you how you can do the that bowling animation using the rigid body simulation and i will also put the that uh, project file into the description you can download from the uh, there so without any further delay let's get started so yeah guys here you can see we have a one bowl and we have also uh, that uh, i forgot that name but yeah we have that asset also so here you can see we i use that uh, rigid body simulation make that uh, animation possible so i'm just going to show you how you can do this so first i'm just going to the uh, scene property and here i'm going to remove the rigid body so it will be remove the rigid body to each and every object and i'm also going to delete that animation so i'm going to start from the scratch okay guys yeah so let's start and uh, so first uh, what i will do so i will uh, put the animation on that bowl and uh, for that i will go to the top view and i'm going to my enable shortcut vr so you can see easily which key i'm pressing yeah so i go to the first frame and i will press the i and here is a location key i will add one location key so if you uh, so if you want to know guys the basic animation of blender and how you can do the uh, basic animation in blender so you can see my that video i will put that link uh, into the i button you can see from there okay guys so i put uh, one keyframe on first frame then after that i will go to the 60 frame like that and i will uh, move that uh, bowl to here and after that i will press the i again and here is a location i will press the again one location so when i play the animation here you can see we have a one animation uh, uh, we have a uh, we have an animation in our ball okay guys but there is one problem when i will uh, play the animation here you can see that ball is going very straight okay it's not uh, rolling basically you can see it's going to very straight so we have to put the that uh, rotation animation also on that ball so for that i will go to the again first frame and i will press the i and here is the option is rotation i will put the key also on our rotation and after that i will go to the again the 60 frame and uh, i will rotate my object uh, like that one two two three four five six like that and after that i will press i again and here is a rotation key i will put the key also so when i play the animation so here you can see guys our ball is now rolling so if i will switch off that so here you can see our ball is rolling okay guys so our ball animation is finished then after that i will go to the the i will go to the that part and uh, then i will go to the simulation setting here is a physics simulation and here is the option is result body so i will enable that and i will uh, keep that active on that and i will change to uh, shape uh, convex hull to cylinder like that and i will also click to the deactivation and start deactivation as well okay guys and uh, i will set the margin zero like that then after that i will select the all rest of the things and after that i will select that middle one and i will go to the object section and here is the rigid body so i will copy from the active so whatever uh, setting we have done to that middle one it will uh, copy to same to every each and every object okay guys then after that i will add the uh, rigid body also on that uh, ball and right now i will set the passive and here is the option is animated so make sure when you doing uh, any animation in a in a rigid body so you have to enable that animated otherwise that rigid body will be not work so please keep that uh, thing on your mind okay so i'm just going to enable that and after that i will change the shape to spare 
and uh, rest of thing it, it uh, rest of thing we don't need to change anything okay and after that i will select that uh, plane that uh, bottom part and i will add the rigid body also here and here i will set the type also passive and shape to mesh so guys our uh, rigid body setting uh, setup is ready so now i'm going to the scene properties so here is the rigid body section is enable okay rigid body world so i'm just going to uh, uh, talk about these settings what it uh, what is doing exactly so that is the speed of our simulation basically so which is i'm putting uh, default okay and that is the step per second means uh, the if the higher number will uh, good result but your system will be slow so right now i'm setting the uh, 250 and uh, same i will set the 250 also then after that so here is our case setting so that is the frame uh, 1 to 250 so i'm going to uh, set on 250 as default after that i am just going to bake it so when i bake it and i will just switch off that so when i play the animation so here you can see what happened so here you can see our animation is working but there is one problem first problem is that so that ball is not going to uh, down when it's reach at the end so for that you have to uh, add the extra keyframe so i will press the i here and after that i will go to the 70 frame and i will uh, move that to down like that and i will press the i again okay guys now, now i will see my animation so that ball will be go down like that you can see guys okay and uh, here you can see we have a, a one problem also so this part is not a uh, touching to our uh, plane so for that uh, because uh, we set the uh, shape type as a cylinder so it's taking that as a margin object so that's why it's not uh, touching our floor so for that uh, we have to make a uh, we have to do some uh, little cheating for that i will just press i and uh, when the bowl are like that so i will just move little bit like that okay guys and i will press the i again location and after that i will uh, go to my graph editor and here i will press the t and here is a page here now our animation will be smooth so here you can see so now these uh, things are touching the floor and it's looking more uh, realistic here you can see so here you can see how we can make the uh, very easily that uh, bowling animation using the rigid body sim simulation so thanks for watching this video guys if you learn something in this video please hit the like button hit the share button and subscribe my channel also and if you have any queries if you have any suggestion please let me know in the comment box and i will also put the that uh, project file into the description you, you can find from there so bye bye take care stay home